I got a new walk and a new point of view, a new purpose for everything I do. I got a, a new rule, only real folks around. If you were wondering, I'm about to tell you now. See, it's the same pretty place, but a brand new. Hey everybody, it's your girl Naj, and I'm back with another video for the Practical Proverbs 31 Woman series. Because that's me, and that's you, that's your mama, your cousin, your aunties, and everybody else. Alright, because that's all we striving to be. Proverbs 31 one, 31, I'm gonna get it right. <laughs> Proverbs 31 women. Um, it's important to know that these qualities are not just based on your age, but they are based on your maturity in Christ. As we mature in Christ, we just feast on the word and just grow and grow and grow and to be, to, to be those women of God that God has called us to be. So in this video, I'm going to tackle three topics so y'all gonna get a sprayer from me okay I'm gonna be talking on um, faith finances and food so now the first topic is faith now first of all what is faith faith is complete trust in the Lord all right so that means like you know who you are you know who you are you know your purpose you know who you belong to like ain't nobody can shake you you don't care what you go through you know God's got you and at the end of the day, that's who you are at your core. You are a woman of faith. Like you trust God to the end. And that's what we all do. If we say we love God, we are going to go through things. But we have to know that, that number one, that God called us. And two, that we just going to stick it out until the end. And I have a scripture that I want to share with y'all. It's from 1 Timothy 4 and 12. And this is to my young Proverbs 31 women who strive, who are striving to be. Because I mean... We all got a lot of stuff going on that we could be doing, but like I said, when God calls you, you can't do like everybody else do. So um, here's a scripture to help encourage you with that. Um, and it's from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12, and it reads, Let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in word and conduct and love and spirit and faith and purity. So that means like it doesn't matter that you're young. I mean, God calls the young because we're strong he also calls us to be holy to be just women after his own heart because there's a lot of stuff that we can get tripped up and trapped up in but god knows he's in the business of protecting your heart so with that put your, put all your trust in the lord learn to put your trust in the lord i didn't just come out my mother's womb with faith this has been like um a journey for me because i was like hey like What's that? <laughs> but I had to learn through a series of trial and error, trying things on my own, failing, um, trying to do things my own way, failing, because I'm, I'm three times seven doing things my own way because I want to and failed again. But I'm learning to have that faith to that no matter what I go through, God is going to see me through. And, and I know because he's seeing me through, he's going to see you through as well. Um, my second point is on finances and you can find that in proverbs um 31 verses i think i got 14 and 16 so let me see oh not 14 it's 16 she considers a field and buys it from her profits she plants a vineyard and basically it's basically you're sowing good seed i'm look I'm trying to get these coins together, y'all. I got this this credit card bill, this credit card debt that I've been trying to, you know, handle. And I'm really, for the first time, like, really trying to get that together because I don't want that debt hanging over my head. Like, it, that's like a monkey on my back. So I've been really trying to save. I done signed up for Digit, which y'all know they getting ready to start charging in, I think, July. Um, but I've been doing good with that saving a dollar a day. Just trying to pay off things because I don't want all that stuff on my back. I got a business that I eventually want to be prosperous. So I got to take care of my finances. And like I said, I'm just trying to be a better stewardess over my finances by incorporating the budget, trying to stick to it as best I can, and just make this shmoney <laughs> work for me, okay? And the last point that I want to share with you on the topic is on the subject of food. And that's from Proverbs 31 verses 14 and 15. 
She is like the merchant ship. She brings her food from afar. Now let me stop there because I know y'all like now. What, where is she going to get food from? I ain't going to no um, country to go get any food. But um, but I just took that as as part of um, verse 15. She also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and a portion for her maid service. Basically, along with being a good steward for over my money, I'm being... Um, I'm cooking my own food and I'm learning to enjoy the art of cooking. No, I'm not a chef, but I've um, been looking at Pinterest, trying different recipes. I mean, and going out to eat a whole lot less, um, preparing my foods at home. I bring my lunch to work every day. Um, Y'all know, shout out to Robin May <laughs> for the um, sponsorship. But yeah, just being, like I said, a better steward over my coins and making my coins work for me. So that includes um, the three topics that I talked about today, faith, finances, and food. Ladies, let's help get ourselves together. Um, we want to be wise, but right now we are wives and waiting. And while we are waiting, we are getting ourselves together in all areas of our life, not just to be somebody's boo, somebody's bae, somebody's missus, so-and-so. All right, so I hope this video has helped you. Let me know. Give that thumbs up, all right? You know you want to. Until the next video. Peace.